Hey guys, I'm Jim. I edit photos. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing well and staying safe, taking care of yourselves, all those kind of things. And uh, today I've got a weird, just kind of odd, quirky, kind of fun, very different. And did I say weird? It's a weird thing. It's not something you're going to do, you're gonna do in a lot of photos, but it's kind of fun. It's cert, uh, it works on certain photos. It doesn't work on all of them, but it's just, it's just fun. It's weird. I said weird. I'm going to keep saying weird because it's weird, but it's kind of fun. So let me get into it. I'm in Illuminar AI. Uh, and I'm using the Curves tool, which is down here. Now, if you ha are not familiar with the Curves tool, it can be kind of intimidating. I think I'm going to come back and do a deep dive on Curves and the Light tool. If you would like to see that, leave me a comment down below. But the Curves tool has a lot of power in it, and this will not be a tutorial on it. But I wanted to show you this, uh, this little trick, this little tip, this little weird thing. And that is, the Curves tool basically represents the tone and the color in an image. And what you can do is it's a straight line where you can drag the left side, which is all the dark stuff. You can drag it all the way till it's totally white. So you've taken all the dark stuff and made it white. And then you come over here and take all the light stuff, which is white and make it dark. And what you get is what's called an inverted curve. And that's weird. It's crazy. It's not exactly infrared, um, but it's kind of like that. It's not infrared, but it, I don't know. It's kind of cool. But the fun thing is, is it gives you a completely different look on a photo because you've inverted everything. So everything is opposite. If I turn this off, you'll see the train is yellow. There it is blue. It's blue in real life. It's yellow when it's inverted because the colors have switched too. So that gives you the um, opportunity, if you will, to come in here and you can play around with the curves tool just like you would on any other photo and you're basically adjusting the light and also adjusting contrast but then you can come in here to these various color uh, tools and do things as well maybe i want to make this a little bit more blue or a little bit more magenta uh, or you know a little bit more blue here uh, let's see something about like that maybe i want to go back here and maybe i don't want that magenta i'm going to hit reset on that and anyway i've got an interesting looking photo but here's the thing, because of inverted curves, these tools are also inverted as well. So instead of increasing the whites by going to the right, you're decreasing them. And instead of brightening the blacks by going to the right, you're darkening them. I can brighten them by going to the left. So again, it's kind of a weird thing. Shadows, instead of pulling them down and making them darker, they're getting brighter when I go left, darker when I go to the right. And the opposite is true for highlights. Um, I can move those around as well. Uh, exposure works the same way. So I'm darkening the image by going to the right. And last but not least, temperature and tint, also the same. So if I want more magenta, I actually drag it toward the green versus to the right, um, towards the magenta on the slider if I want it to be green in this case. And temperature, of course, if I want it more blue, I don't go left, that's more yellow, more blues to the right. So it's a weird thing, but you can see that you have some fun, kind of different and interesting things you can do to a photo. And then, of course, you can go and apply other tools and filters to it, and those tools and filters will operate as normal. Let me show you a couple other examples of where I've used this technique. Okay, here's just a shot I took of one of the old cameras that's sitting on the desk behind me, and I turned it into that, which I think is really fun and different. You can see I did lots of different things, and every photo is different. There is no, you know, do this, move that, put this here. It's all experimentation. It's just complete, you know, throw out anything that you think might be normal and just experiment, move sliders around. But you can see I did things up here and I did a number of things on the curves tool, including with the blues and the greens. But then I came down here, I did some negative structure and I painted that in the background to smooth out the noise. Um, color, I went in here and did some things as well with saturation or vibrance, I guess, not saturation, and even added a little bit of golden hour to give it a little bit of pop. But you know, it makes for an interesting photo. So there it is before and after. And the other thing that you can do then is come in here perhaps and convert this to a black and white. And now that I've done that, it kind of looks infrared. I'm not an infrared guy. So if you're an infrared person, feel free to argue and tell me it doesn't look like infrared. I'm not saying it is. It just kind of reminds me of infrared. But then you can also come in here and in the luminance. And remember, let's look at the colors that we have. Whoops. Um, let me turn this off. The colors that we have are primarily blue and some kind of pink. So in Luminous, you can come in here to the blue and maybe increase or decrease that to change the look of the photo. So it's just something kind of fun. I'm gonna turn off the black and white. I like it very much as a color. Let me show you one more example where I did this technique. Okay, here's another example, and this is a shot from Prague. That's what it actually looks like. This is what it looks like now. So again, very different, very odd. I'm not saying this is a technique you wanna use on all your photos. I don't think you wanna stake your claim as a photographer on this, but it is fun. 
it's a good way to experiment and play around. You can see I did a lot of different things here, whites, blacks, literally I moved like every slider to kind of do that, but you could come in then and use Enhance AI if you wanted to maybe brighten the photo, you know, maybe something like that. You could come in here with color. Look at all the different colors that are here. Maybe you come in here to the hue on the blue and maybe change that a little bit. You can kind of see how I'm making that more purple and um, a little bit more green. Keep in mind, the colors on the uh, color tool are not inverted. They were on the curves tool and the light tool because I've inverted that one, but these are operating as normal. So I could maybe come in here and let's say I change the saturation of the blue. Maybe there's too much of that. I wanna take that down a little bit and maybe the same with the green. Maybe I don't like that green look in sky. I wanna pull that down. Actually, I'm gonna add back a little bit of blue. And then maybe I could come in here to luminance and change the blue luminance as well. It's, it's weird, okay? Again, uh, I'm not saying this is something you should do all the time, but it's kind of fun. It's definitely different. It's somewhat interesting. And you can come up with some pretty interesting and fun alternative photos, alternative realities if you want. It's just an idea I'm just kind of playing around with. I thought I'd share it in case it's something you want to play around with. And if not, totally cool. It's way outside the bounds of reality. Sometimes that's kind of fun. Let your mind just kind of flow free and go do some weird, crazy things. That's how you can do it in Luminar. And I will admit, all you need is a curves tool. You should be able to do this in any product that has a curves tool. So that's it, my friends. Something odd, weird, just a little experiment you can go have with your photos if you want. But inverting the curves tool is a fun, different way to get some unique and kind of strange looking photos. Again, fun experiment. That's all it is. I just wanted to throw that out there in case you've never seen this or tried it. Give it a whirl if you want. And if not, keep on moving on to the next video. No problem, no harm, no foul. Take care of yourselves out there, my friends. I hope you're doing well. I'll be back soon with more and uh, have fun editing. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later and adios.